Wait, what would you, since you've seen all of them at least once, what, because I'm gonna tell you mine, what's your favorite Nick Cage movie? What's your favorite? I think the, the movie that I made, and it's recent, that I felt like I had entered the room and I, everything worked. Uh, everything was like lightning in a bottle. It just flowed, it just happened. Uh, with everybody I was working with, it yeah. just one or two takes, we all were. Everything clicked? Everything clicked, uh, we were all on our game. I would say it was Pig. Yeah. That movie. Oh, I love that. I'm always interested to see which one kind of sticks with people. Yeah, that one stayed with me. That one resonated. I think for me, it's just because when you see things, it's like music and movies at a certain time, like for your brain, like when you're like in like junior high or like high school or whatever, there's that certain time when everything, I know every line, I know every, you know, in the songs or the movies, it's like when you remember things. Yes. Or like phone numbers. Remember when we memorized phone numbers? <laughs> I don't know anyone's number. I don't know mine. Um, but um, I think it would be The Rock. I love, oh, The well, Rock was right. like, yeah. I, I think it's when I was a kid, I was obsessed with that movie. Like, I love that it taught me, historically speaking, I didn't know what Alcatraz was before I saw that movie. And I went on a deep dive on like what that was and who was there. Right. And I love when movies introduce you to stuff like that that you didn't know, like historically speaking. Absolutely. I think that's really cool. Also, the National Treasures do that for me. Cause I was like, yeah. is that real or made up? Yeah. I was yeah. like, I was like, I love anything that like sends me into like Googling stuff. I think it's uh, like, you know, it's like thought provoking. Yeah. Um, and also at that age, I just thought it was cool. And I was like, how did he handle that? And when you, one of the best, I'm not gonna ruin the whole movie, but <laughs> one of the best of this new movie is, there's someone in the movie that's an Uber fan and there's this room <laughs> full of black. It's like if you would, if I were to walk in, what if you were really to walk into a room where someone was that big of a fan, yeah. would you be nervous? No, I don't think no? so. I've had great experiences meeting people. Okay. Most of the 99.9% Not of nervous time. that they want to wear your skin, nervous that you're not gonna, <laughs> not that kind of nervous. Right. I don't ever feel that kind of nervous. People are generally cool. I mean nervous that you're gonna let them down because they have you up on a pedestal. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't see myself as on a pedestal, and I don't think about- I know, about, but that, they do. Right, well, and that, well the, thi the thing is, like, I'm not thinking about it in those terms. Like, I can't get nervous because I, I actually don't recall when I wake up in the morning that I'm in movies or that I people no, might no, know I'm who like I am. No, no, I'm like this, too. I get, I yeah. get it. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I hope I don't let you down, especially if they, they like, tattoo something. Oh, that, yeah, that- And I'm like, oh, my God, I could seriously let yeah. you down, and, like, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. But I have to remind myself that I'm actually somebody that maybe might have inspired them to get a tattoo of my face on their arm, and I don't think of myself That's in those terms, amazing. so it doesn't come up, and then I'm sometimes confused as to why are you acting that way? <laughs> what is going on? What's what did wrong I did? What is wrong with me? What did are, I do something? What are you on, and can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hear that you do this, and I. Can't I, I? I try not to ever do anything like this because I feel like it'll affect me. But do you, you Google yourself, right? It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Okay, but do you? Go, why do you Google? Yourself? Oh gosh, it's it's Google. I call it Google itis, and I think secretly okay. we all do it, but no one wants to admit it. But I mean, the the problem is. No, I literally don't. Well, I believe you, but I, I mean, literally don't because I get worried because I don't want to know everybody. Well, talking exactly. About. I mean, yeah. and that's the that's the part of it that hurts, but because it does. There are. Because I'll find out in interviews. Well, I, that happens to me too, but what, what, what it is is that I sometimes want to, it was my New Year's resolution not to Google myself, and then by accident, by habit, by autopilot, I went, oh no, and I dropped the phone. So yeah. it's, it doesn't, it's hard to not Google oneself. The reason why I do it is because sometimes you get ahead of a story before, uh, like an untruth, and you can yes. call someone and say, the rumor, you, mill. the rumor mill, because you shut yeah. this down now. Yeah. That's the only reason why I do it, but I'm looking forward to just, putting the phone on silent and not doing it. I have to train myself. You know what you should see is there's this thing called Social Dilemma. It's like a documentary. Oh, it's great. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah. don't want to be that this guy. That was scary. That yeah. was scary, yeah. I literally deleted like everything from my phone. Well, the, the thing is Google actually came to me and said, we want you to advertise for us. And I, I try not to do commercials. I, I, yeah. I don't do commercials, but. Yeah. I did one a million years ago in Japan, and then I got burned because I thought I was promoting a toy called Pachinko, because my cousin Roman had a pachinko machine when we were growing up, and I'd play, and I thought it was fun, and it turned out to be Japanese gambling, so I said, I'm never doing another commercial. Oh. So that was why I got burned, but 
what was the story I was going to tell you about the commercial? Google wanted me to do something, and then I saw the movie you just mentioned, The Social, yes, dilemma, social dilemma, and I said, I don't want to touch this. I know it scared me. Yeah, so it's I very like scary. took it all away. Because at the end, yeah. they're like robots, right? It, it, this guy. Yeah, 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 that was the one that. And got they all me. know they're they're watching. Yeah. <laughs> they're listening. The algorithm knows what you yes. want, and they will sell it to you. Yes. Yeah. They know I love sugar. Um, anyway, so we Googled you before the show because we wanted to know what came up. <laughs> so this is, this is literally oh, yes. what, it says that you have a crush on Miss Piggy. Is this true? It's true. It's I true. love that this, if this were what was said about me, I would Google. She, she See, well, this I, is fun when you Google yourself. I'm talking about, they're like hard. mean. Yeah. So yeah, or they get in your life like in a weird way. So yeah. that's why I don't, yeah. Invasive. But she, uh, Miss Piggy's adorable. She's I love adorable. Her. Yeah. I love her. I love, do you really love, did you grow up with the Muppets? You love the Muppets? Oh yeah, I, I love yeah. those movies. Yeah. yeah. So much fun. I know. And Henson and, fun uh, and kind of scary sometimes. Very scary. I love yeah, the one that Charles- depending on the film. Charles Grodin was in one, he was terrific. Yeah. yeah. Didn't Jim Henson do The Labyrinth? The Labyrinth was right? great, yeah, yeah, with Bowie, right? That, terrific. yeah, and I loved it, but Hoggle, all those little dudes, they, they were scary. Yeah, they, yeah. Were, they were really scary. Yeah, and that child was abducted. If you yeah. think about it, it's a crazy story. It's, it's very scary. Yeah. One of my favorite films of all time. It's I love beautiful. it from childhood, but I'm like, that's messed up. Kind of like a nightmare, but, but what he did, what Henson did with those creatures, those, those puppets, yeah. was a different look entirely from It did the like change my whole thought on like that's what right. I should wish for. Cause like yeah. maybe that will come true. But Bowie was fun in that, wasn't he? Oh my he? God, I loved yeah. it. And wasn't it Jennifer Connelly? She, Jennifer Connelly, I think so, it was her first film. She was so good in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a great film, I love it. Me. The Babe with the Power. Yeah. I love all the songs.